okay, I think we're live. But, uh, got some technical difficulties. Actually, never mind, I think we're good. What's up, everyone? It's Friday night here in Hanoi, April 19th, 2024. The time is about 8.30 p.m. Temperature is 84 Fahrenheit, 29 Celsius. <laughs> Bunch of kids just came in front of the camera. I guess they were curious. Wow, CK, you'll be in Hanoi in 15 hours. That's gonna be exciting. Anyway, I'm here in front of the Hanoi Opera House. I'm gonna head over to Juan Kim Lake. This way is faster to get to the lake. Yikes, I'm not crossing the street with that bus in the way. CK is saying thank you, these videos have been incredibly helpful. Well, I hope you're going to uh, enjoy Hanoi as much as I am. Even I'm discovering more and more of it every day. Time lapse, Jackie says it looks cleaner than New York City. Um, in some places it does, for sure. Thank you, CK, for the $10 super chat. I hope you enjoy your time in Hanoi. Thanks so much, CK, appreciate it. It's a really incredible looking building. Great architecture. You'll see a lot of French influence here in the old quarter. Starting from this block, there's no motor vehicles allowed.
All these motorbikes, they park here. I want to try a different flavor this time from Kem Trang Tien. Maybe this time they have the ice cream cone that I want. Last time I came in here, they didn't have any. You know what, I'll just line up here and get something. Oh wait, the line uh, is from here. I'll stick with something a little more traditional today. I'll get a chocolate, cacao. But this is by far the most popular ice cream spot in Hanoi, possibly even Vietnam. There really isn't much of a line on that side. Gary's saying durian ice cream. I uh, actually don't see durian listed here. Not at this um, at this um, booth. But today it's just chocolate for me. Last time I got the um, rice flour ice cream, which was really nice. Oh, look at this. If you bring a scooter inside, there's a 200,000 dong fine. Jerry says that's more like it, chocolate ice cream. I don't know, I've been craving chocolate. Wait, they have something that says chocolate and peanuts ice cream. So I can get that one, but I'd rather just stick with the chocolate. The chocolates and peanut ice cream is uh, 17,000. Wait, they have a cacao ice cream and a chocolate ice cream. All right, I'll just get chocolate. I'll skip the cacao. That's the one I was looking at, the chocolate and peanuts ice cream. But I'm getting the one on the lower left.
know what? They do have durian ice cream. It's on the top. Right there. And they have apricot also. But I'm skipping the durian. No um, durian for me. Eyeglass lady who wants the chocolate and peanut. Oh, Tran Nguyen, you're from Vietnam and live in Ho Chi Minh City. I love Hanoi and I love Ho Chi Minh City as well. I was there. I'd love to go back to Ho Chi Minh City. I wonder if uh, this ice cream is also in Ho Chi Minh City. I don't really remember seeing it when I was down there, but I didn't even know about it either until I came here. Wonder what's going on. This takes a while. Are they ordering like entire boxes of ice cream? Is this a chain shop? I think this is the original location and they have other locations. Hello, chocolate? All right, awesome. Come on. I got 5,000 change and I got my chocolate ice cream. Let's see how the traditional flavor is compared to rice flour and dirty in and all those other exotic flavors. Oh! This reminds me of uh, like Good Humor or Nestle. It's like a traditional milk ice cream bar that you get from like the ice cream um, truck in the US. The chocolate is really good and the vanilla inside is good. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for the cacao because that's what I was expecting. Mmm. Creamy. All right. Haven't had one of these in a long time. This brings me back to my childhood. I thought it was solid chocolate, but we got vanilla cream. Mmm. I'm not gonna um, walk around with this because this chocolate bits can get kind of messy. If you haven't eaten one of these, you'll know. You got to be really careful because some of the chocolate bits can fall on the ground. So it's good to know that they have something like this too. That's not just a solid like popsicle. They actually have the ice cream inside. Mmm. This tastes better than um, Nestle or Good Humor, to be honest.
All right, I'm done with that. That has to be the best flavor of ice cream that I've had in Vietnam, period. Just the traditional chocolate ice cream bar with vanilla inside. Mmm. So good. Gary says, not a total disappointment. Not at all. Best flavor of ice cream that I've had. This is also my favorite part of Hanoi, the uh, old quarter walking streets on a weekend. I can come here every day when they have this. Well, it says so simple and basic, but so good. Oh, yes. Jerry, I gotta be careful with the copyright music here. There's plenty of it. That's a very talented group there. I think this is the city symbol for Hanoi. I've seen it on many places, including the Hanoi Metro. Stop, stop. 
Tan Chen Hui says, could you please mentor me to become a successful YouTuber as you are? I could, but there's so much stuff that I would have to teach. There's a lot that isn't really told that you have to learn through life experiences. Many people, when they start off on YouTube, they expect their channel to be a big hit right away. It took me a long time to get to where I am. And just learning what works and what doesn't. Estelle says, seems a really peaceful place to visit, lovely people. It's a gorgeous night today, not too humid, and there's plenty of activity around here. There's so many ways to enjoy this area. You could walk right by the water or a little bit in. You have choices here. There's Turtle Tower in the middle of Quan Kim Lake. Legend has it that's where Lee Tai To, the first person who really unified Vietnam, put his sword. That's why this lake is called Lake of the Returned Sword or Restored Sword. At the Turtle Tower. At least that's what I remember the tour bus saying when I put on the audio guide.
Yeah, Jerry, it's called Turtle Tower. Wow, look at that little dog. So cute. And it already ran away from us so fast too. Dust back. Rabbit saying, I wish American town and cities had night activity like they do here. You do have a good point there. Um, I don't really know too many places in the U.S. with like weekly like walking street activities like this on like a big scale. Even a place as large as New York City doesn't have anything like this. They kind of like keep the street the same and they leave it open to traffic, but here... It's all closed off to traffic. Someone's singing there. Although I might get in trouble with this music. Trendy Cosmetics saying, seems there is much more entertainment. It's even busier here on Saturdays, believe it or not. <laughs> Tomorrow I might even come out here and record a video on Saturday. And the best part of it is I could record all the music and YouTube will let me know what's copyrighted and what's not.
Let's go up here. We've got all these taxis ready to take people wherever they need to go, right outside of the walking area. Kind of quiet on this side. The corner food vegetarian. Hi. They have a lot. Stewed beef with bread. Oh, this isn't the vegetarian menu. I mean oh. Where are you from? I'm from New York. Ah, New York? No yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you from Chinese and can speak Chinese. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yi Dian Dian. Oh, uh, Nia Ka Yi Shuo Hao Ba. See, it helps to know Chinese here in Vietnam. You never know uh, when it might come useful. Yeah. All right, well, if you want to uh, come to a good restaurant, you got the corner food here. Okay. Bye-bye. Tam Die. Zai Jian. Three languages there. Polyglots. I like it. I already ate, otherwise I might go there. And this looks like a really nice hotel too. Hanoi Pearl Hotel. Actually, one thing that I've noticed is that there's a, a lot more Mandarin Chinese spoken here in Hanoi than there was in Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon. And I think a lot part of it has to do with the fact that Hanoi is in the north part of Vietnam, which borders China. So of course you're gonna have more influence from China here in Hanoi. It's a beautiful hotel, a Sunline Hotel, and then Cafe Nyan since 1946. Look at this temple. I still love the culture and peaceful vibes. Yeah, plenty of culture here. Also a good amount of spas here as well.
even in Korean. They might even speak Korean. One thing I've also noticed in Hanoi, there's a lot of Korean influence as well. So don't be surprised if you hear Korean spoken or businesses also written in Korean, like this one. Go back to the lake. Randy asked me if I could speak Korean. Just hello, thank you, <laughs> pretty much. I uh, tried to learn it for like a week, but I forgot most of it. Oh, I know how to say my name in Korean. What I've also noticed here is how well behaved the children are too. They're having fun. They're not acting wild, they're playing around. And they're well supervised. Hey OG Steve with $5. Good morning from the Bronx. Thanks so much OG Steve. Good evening here from Vietnam. Bella's saying kitties. One thing I've noticed about Vietnam is that they have a very young population. Lots of children too. I go to many places, the shopping malls, the streets, I see many more children here than many other places that I've been to. Daryl Janik asking if I've met any American tourists in Vietnam. Yes, I've met several.
It's a little bit more breezy tonight than I, than I expected. Trendy Cosmetics asked if their economy is good. Yes, it's one of the fastest growing economies in the world. There are even some economists that say Vietnam is the next China. I'm not sure if it's going to develop to that scale, but from what I've observed Vietnam is growing at a pretty rapid pace just going to many of these um, these smart cities and developments and construction I can see it Wow, a saxophone player. He's very good. There's a lot going down over here. I never walked down here when they had the walking street before. Tony says, amazing how many motor scooters are in Vietnam. I don't know, I haven't looked up the statistics on that, but a lot. We definitely see a lot more people on motor scooters, motorbikes, than there are walking around sometimes.
Is this street closed off? Yeah, it looks like it. More comfortable to walk over here than by the lake. Maybe I can make my way over to Ma May Street. Wood fired pizza. Wow. Looks pretty good in there. And this kind of looks like a wedding setup. Although it's a sidewalk shed. Or street said. There's also a lot of spas available here too. I really wonder like how busy all these spas can be when there's so many of them. But it does keep the prices down which is good for me. I think Ma May Street is over to the left. Yep, this is Ma May Street. Looks like some good dragon fruit there. They got mango steam, which is called the queen of fruits. I actually ate it for the first time and made a video on it. Vietnamese and vegan foods. Oh, my God. 
El Dudorino. I'm really glad you're enjoying Vietnam. It's such an amazing place. Sure is. Era restaurant, the best authentic Vietnamese cuisine. Bold statement there. Best and authentic. There sure are a lot of people outside. Rooftop bar. Oh, coming up is a New York City pizza place. I actually ate here. It's actually decent. You're going to see the video when I publish it, but funny that there's a New York City pizza place here. Uh, Trendy Cosmetics is their street entertainment only. Um, well, there's entertainment in places, not everywhere. Mad Monkey Hanoi Backpacker Hostel. Well, this is interesting. It's getting busier now. Jerry says the pizza looked delicious. You've already published that. I'm not sure which one I published now and which one I did. I've scheduled them so, such a long time ago. But I know I published the one when I was in Saigon. That slice was um, excellent. Or a pizza rather, I had a personal pizza. Copy right there, actually playing the instruments. Ah, Hen Street is down there. I think I'm gonna skip out on that. It gets kind of crowded.
Hey, Chris from St. Patrick's. I'm doing well. Hope you are too. There's live entertainment and music everywhere. Trying, you're always saying sleepless city. I wouldn't say that. They do sleep, but it's pretty active. Ciao. It's just so active around here. Here's V coffee and tea. There's supposed to be a cafe which invented egg coffee here. I like to try it, but I um, lost the location. I'm kind of on a mission to try egg coffee now now that I had it. Definitely the busiest part of Hanoi right now. Spider Man. Really, Brolic? In your home country of Bangladesh, people roam around 2 or 3 a.m. Got a people traffic jam here.
have just defeated Vietnam. Macaulay says Hanoi Times Square. Well, there are a lot of bright lights here, but I don't really see too many electronic billboards. Who knows, they might add some now. It'd be kind of cool when they add uh, electronic billboards to Beer Street. Bordeaux Gambler says Times Square is by the Ben 10 in Saigon. Yeah, I would say uh, Yen Hue Street is more of a Times Square atmosphere than Ta Hien Beer Street here in Hanoi. El Duo Dorino. No, I haven't eaten snail yet in Vietnam. I'd like to try it. Gary says snails, no way. I've had snails before, but it was a long time ago. I don't know if they're considered a delicacy here in Hanoi. Dian's asking me, do I know what the most popular sports are? I have a feeling it's like jogging, maybe uh, table tennis, um, billiards. I see a, a lot of billiards clubs. Um, maybe badminton as well. That's what I've observed. Oh, uh, El Duo Divino says, OC snail is so good, virtually any stall boil it up, dip in sauces. Any stall, really? I haven't noticed it here. 
unless I'm looking at places I shouldn't be. John asking what's the most favorite type of food you've eaten in Vietnam so far. Um, believe it or not, it would have to be the fresh fruits here. The mangoes, coconut, mango steam, oranges, guava, it's, all the fruits are so good. I did not know what sweet fruit was until I had it here in Southeast Asia. And that goes for Thailand as well. I couldn't believe it when I bit into some of these fruits. I'm like, wow, this is like totally amazing. Because many of these fruits, they're native to Southeast Asia. And when I had these same fruits in the United States, they would have to be picked unripe and then shipped like in storage and then ripen inside the fruit. But here, they pick the fruit when it's already ripe and it's so good because it has time to mature on the vine, on the branch, whatever. Dian says, are you free to travel to any part of Vietnam or do you need government permission? Well, the uh, main thing to even enter the, enter the country here is to get a visa. Because as a U.S. citizen, I needed to get a, a visa. It was an electronic visa, I needed to apply online. As far as I know, I'm allowed to go to most places in Vietnam without issue. Jerry says fresh fruits except durian. No, durian is actually not bad. I just don't recommend it if you don't want to settle for an aftertaste or you're going to bother other people around you. Because that's what I care about when I have durian. What other people think. Because they're going to run away from me or think that I'm stinky breath. We're back here at Juan Kim Lake. Alicia says, so busy, look at the building, looks like a cruise ship. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. I actually dined in this building at Hanoi 1930 Bistro. Food was pretty good. 
Have I dined at Chat Ka yet? No, I haven't. That's on the uh, fourth floor. I went to Hanoi 1930 Bistro, but that one looks good too. I might have to try that also. Uh-oh, the kite fell down. Don't want to be tangled in that string. Yeah, they're all flying kites. Try says the ship run aground with diners unaware. Oh, for sure. These kites look so fun to use. Even the kids know how to use it. You just like wave it around and it starts flying. Look at this girl. She's like a natural at it. Alicia Gonzalez with $20 for dinner or breakfast. Enjoy and thank you for sharing your travels with us. Thank you, Alicia. Appreciate it so much. It's so nice. Josephine Halligan, thank you for the one pound 49. Appreciate it, Josephine, thank you.
They've got spotlights up in the trees here. What's happening here? A dance? Peter says, I wonder if tempoyak pickle durian from Malaysia would make durian a bit less smelly. I don't know, I haven't even heard of it before. That's talent, folks, to be able to jump rope and double dutch and do it backwards, too. How much coordination do you need to do that? You know what? Is this the original um, pho restaurant that's so famous? Yeah, it is. Since 1955, Pho Tin. There's the, the well-known one, the famous one. It's so small. Certificate of Excellence Trip Advisor. From what I heard, there's actually um, two well-known um, brands, Pho Tin and Pho Tin Hanoi. One uses like a different type of um, way of making the broth. Hey, now I know where it is. I might have to review uh, the original one, the famous Pho Tin. Continental Rolo Mixers says it seems incredibly safe there. Yeah, I don't really notice like any type of um, crimes being committed. I think the most unsafe part of Vietnam really is watching where you walk and uh, just watching the traffic as well. But in terms of like violent crime, theft, I don't really think those um, activities are too high. And I feel relatively safe here.
actually I felt that um, Thailand was a little bit more unsafe than Vietnam, especially in the tourist areas. I just got that feeling. And even in um, Thailand, when I witnessed like some seediness, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I did w witness an interaction between uh, two tourists where there was some screaming and name calling and profanity. But here I really haven't noticed it too much. And when I was in Taiwan, I never noticed it at all. Chuan Yo says maybe crime punishment is severe here. Um, I guess it can be. There's actually, um, there was a big fraud case that just passed where the mastermind got uh, sentenced to death. That's probably the most severe punishment you could ever have. What is this, K-pop? There's a lot going on here on Friday. <laughs> that I think I'm going to start winding down my live stream pretty soon.
I like to get something to drink, relax. I'll leave you off here with a view of the lake. Alicia says it's not black, pink. No, I doubt it. Otherwise, I'd be drawing much more of a crowd. All right, folks. Hope you enjoy tonight's live stream from Hanoi, Vietnam. If you did, then hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.